Hi everybody, I mean 12 people. I'm Silver Shadow V1, <laughs> and this is my co-host today, Pika. He is our special guest. He will help me with this newly planned out video. And to start off our newly planned out video, Pika, if you would be so kind to hand me our review of the night, Mother. So delicately the done. The Blu-ray combo pack. Alright. When I first heard and saw the commercials of Mother, um, I thought it was a horror movie. They commercialed it that way. I hate it when movies are falsely advertised. I think they have a word for that. Oh well. And, um, it, I'm not saying that it isn't good, because it is good. It just isn't what all of the commercials are going to have you thinking it is. Go in with no expectations, and you will go out liking the movie. One thing I wish someone would have stopped and told me... Kind of like watching this video. ...is that it's a metaphor. I'm not going to tell you what for, but it is a metaphor for something. Okay, keep an eye out for the hints and stuff. Um, I love both of the actors, don't you, Pika? I'm glad you had so much to say about the subject. A lot, a lot of verbal. And uh, it's from the director of Black Swan, so he has done very successful work in the past. So you can expect it to be a very artsy film. So go out and rent Mother, buy, or whatever you want to do with it. All right, hand me our next subject. Mother. Pikachu. Here is our honorable Pikachu. mention. The reason it is not where Mother is is because... I made this video a little Vanna too late. White. As you can tell, we moved. And so that's taken up a lot of my time. And I'm not going to lie, I've been a little bit on the couch lately, a little discouraged. So this would have been the movie of the night a lot sooner. But tonight it's just going to be an honorable mention. It's a good movie, very special features. Um, Andy Serkis never ceases to amaze as any mocab character he plays as. And Woody Harrelson plays a perfect opposite to his Caesar. Alright, hand me the next item. Pika, you are slowing down, my man. Come on, speed up. That's a big foot. Alright, for PlayStation 4, we have Call of Duty World War II. I'm so happy to see Call of Duty go back to World War II. I mean, the first four games, no, three games, were all World War II. I wasn't going to wait for an answer. You take too damn long, Pika. And I'm just so happy to see that <laughs> one of the gaming companies had the nerve to go back and do a World War II Call of Duty again. It took a lot of guts, and if you ask me, they pulled it off. After I got done beating it once, after staying up three nights in a row, I went back to play wait, it again. Beat, staying up wait, wait, three wait, nights wait. in a row. Beating, okay. beating what? Ones. The game. Oh, You're not oh, supposed okay. to talk this much, by the way. Anyway, it is a great game. Zombies is awesome. Multiplayer is awesome. And campaign is even better. Alright. Let us get to our next. Okay. Can you hand me the first one first, my buddy? For those of you who do not know Middle Earth Shadow of War, it is the sequel to 2014's Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. It was a winner of over 43 E3 awards and IGN and Best of E3 2014 winner. Um, it is a great game. Obviously, it takes place in the same universe as The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. It's fun, it's gory, it's dark, and the storyline is addictive. Go out and play it. I highly recommend it. It is definitely a 10. I'll, All right. I'll bet a dollar nine on the soda. Now, as you can see on the back, nothing will be forgotten. We don't sponsor that. <laughs> yeah. Blur it out. All right. Now, the sequel, um, I didn't get a whole lot of time to play. But I will say what I did play of it was fun. It's a lot like the first one. I'm hoping the storyline is deeper and darker. From what I can tell from how much I did play and how little percentage was done, it's a very long game. So it'll keep you busy for a while and keep you entertained, hopefully, for just as long. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think of those games. Now, 
the album of the week and the band of the month is Breaking Benjamin's Amber, and the song is Red Cold River. The music video is beautiful. I relate to it so much. The song rocks itself. Breaking Benjamin still has it, and I can't wait for the rest of the album to come out on Hold on, I have to check my script. We are having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh my god, Pico, we forgot the script! I'm just kidding, it's April 13th, 2018. And, uh, April 8th. I knew that. April 8th, 2018. Anyways, um, I can't wait for the album. It looks great. Breaking Measurement always delivers. What would have been in its spot was Three Days Grace, but I guess I waited a little too long to make this video because their album is already out. So I'll make it the honorable mention. And the main song of the album is I Am an Outsider and the song rocks too. And it sounds just like another Three Days Grace album, which is starting to get a little predictable, but there's nothing wrong with a good sound. Don't change what's already good. Don't change it if it ain't broken is what I meant to say, I think. Don't fix so, something that's not broken. Take it from me and take it from Pepsi Cola. <coughs> Stick Can't. to my videos. Can't. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and I will be sure to get back to you. That was a joke, by the way. I, this isn't even Pepsi anymore. It is watered down ice. Thank you for watching. This is Silver Shadow V1 and Pika. Sincerely signing out. Thanks for being here, man. Mr. Peekaboo. Good night, everybody. And farewell. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry. I almost forgot. We're going to bring the video down to a very serious moment because the world lost a fallen hero back a few months ago. He was only 41 years old. His name was Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park. Uh, he had six kids and a wife and he had five great friends. They, believe it or not, did not start the band with Chester. The lead singer walked out on them and their manager told them they found a talented kid down in Tucson, Arizona. And talented indeed he was. Many albums led on. Lincoln Park became the biggest rock band of the 21st century and will forever be remembered. So Chester, I wrote this poem for you. It is called Silent Singer with Chester Bennington. We've all lost someone, and I'm not the only one who truly lost you. How could you leave? Lead me with the question of why. A real hero before his time. Your voice was bliss, your heart was sound. You loved with blood and hated with hate. You were loved in every way and not forgotten to this day. I see you in every flame and hear you in each silence. You are the silent singer for that of mine. By me from KNH Mall. I'm Snappy We love and miss you, Chester Bennington.